Okay, group, we're on 10.3 practice. Um, we're going to do all of number one here, so letters A through F. Um, so here we're trying to identify the volume and uh, decide if it's a prism or a cylinder. In this case, this is a prism, and it's a rectangular prism. Our formula is the area of the base B times the height. So if you look at our base here, okay, we have 5.75 by 9.8. So if we multiply those together, we get 56.35. So we'll take that 56.35 and now we have to multiply it by the height, which is one inch. So that gets us 56.35 um, cubic inches once we multiply that out. Okay, letter B, this is also a prism. However, this is a triangular prism. So um, when we solve for the base, uh, I'm sorry, the area of the base, we're going to do one half base times height. And that will get us our um, area of our base, which is 122.5. Okay, so then um, here we're going to do our area of our base, 122.5 times the height, which is 18 of our prism. for a total volume of 2,205, um, and this is cubic millimeters. Okay, letter C is a cylinder. So for a cylinder, our formula is pi r squared h. So in this case, we'll have pi. Since our diameter is three, half of it is the radius. Um, so 1.5 would be our R times the height of 1. So since we're leaving this in terms of pi, we'll do 1.5, and then we, we don't really need to multiply by 1. So this is just 2.25 pi cubic inches for our volume. Okay. Go ahead and tackle letters D through F here. Okay, so for letter D, this is absolutely a prism. It kind of looks weird, um, but it is a triangular prism. So for the area of our base, we're going to do one half base times height. So the base of our triangle is 31, the height of our triangle is 20. So that gets us 310. Then for our volume, we'll do 310 times the height of our prism, which is 28. And that gets us a total of 8,680 cubic feet. And so again, we used um, base times height on this one the area of our base times height. Okay, this next one is a cylinder. It is slanted, but that's okay. So it's just pi r squared h. So here we'll do pi, and then our diameter is five, so half of that would be 2.5 for the radius, times our height, which is six. And so since we're leaving it in terms of pi, we'll do 2.5, times 6, which is 37.5, and it'll be in terms of pi, and that will be meters cubed. All right, last question is letter F. So here this is a prism. So this will be the area of the base times height. So if we look at our triangular base, um, it has a measurement of 25 for the hypotenuse, 
and 9 for the base. So we need to find the height, which is h, to find our to be able to find the base um, area. So we're going to do Pythagorean theorem to find that. So 25 squared is um, 625. 9 squared is 81. We're going to subtract 81 from 625. We get 544, and then we'll take our square root, of course. So that gets us a height of 23.32. Okay, so now we can find the area of our base. So the area of our base is going to be 1 half the base of 9 times the height that we just found which is 104.94 then I'm going to go come down here to do my my volume so our area of our base is the 104.94 the height of our entire prism is 27 So that would get us a total volume of 2,833 point, we'll say 0.4 cubic inches.